What's up everyone here? Thank you for making this video party. I'm so excited to upload this one for you guys. It's been a long time since I actually uploaded a video for you guys. So thank you for your patience. And I just found out that today Disney launched the first trailer for their new streaming service, Disney Plus. I am very curious as to what they're gonna do with this streaming service. So here's my overall reaction to the trailer. Enjoy. Okay, everybody, let's take it from the top. <laughs> Kermit the Frog. Wow. Something's happening. Oh, man. Extraordinary. Oh, that's cool. Tro Yoda! Awesome. Star Wars. Something exciting. Yep, we got all the live action Disney Something movies. Authentic and true. Everything changes now. And snap. What's next? <laughs> That's our specialty. Nice. Oh my god, The Simpsons! I totally forgot seeing that how Disney bought Fox. They also get Hulu, which means they're gonna get The Simpsons as well. That's kind of crazy. Do you trust me? Yes. Wow, everything. May the force be with us. Yeah, Star Wars! And they got everything. Ah, oh, Toy Story. Yeah, that's cool. They're getting everything that Disney owns. It's like a dream, a wonderful dream come true. That's straight up true, lady. It is a dream come true for any Disney fans. Whoa! Oh, that's cool. I the Mandalorian. You have magic. Wow! National Geographic? They got that? Holy crap! Wow! So that was my overall reaction to the trailer. Now, my initial thoughts are... Wow, I mean, they're really throwing everything into this streaming service from Disney classic movies like Jungle Book, like Lion King, and like Snow White. To more modern ones, like you get like the Tangle, you get the Frozen, you get Wreck-It Ralph, and they're also throwing in all their Marvel movies. So if you're a really big Marvel fan, you want to binge watch all the Marvel movies, which I think is now like, I don't know what they at, 23 right now? So if you want to binge watch all 23 Marvel movies, you can now with this streaming service. And they're also going to show all their Star Wars movies, all like the Star Wars property, including the new show that's going to be released on this streaming service called The Mandalorian, which I am so freaking jacked up for that, that show. I'm really excited. And also, to my surprise, I was surprised that actually they have The Simpsons in this one. And I shouldn't be all surprised because I remember Disney bought Fox, which means Disney gets all of Fox's properties, including The Simpsons. So that was pretty cool that they're going to have The Simpsons on uh, this new streaming service. And we also get like uh, the Muppets, we get like some, also to my surprise, National Geographic, which means we're going to get some more documentaries in this one. So basically, this is, this is going to be Disney's solution to Netflix, basically. So it looks like while Netflix is going to have like a bunch of random stuff that people can find and watch and stream, it looks like Disney's going to have their specific uh, marketing, their specific brand on their uh, the streaming service on Disney+. Plus. And I'm, over, I'm, I'm overall overwhelmed what this trailer, I mean, this is just a trailer for a streaming service and it's just, it's just mind blowing that we're now at a time where we have so much like Disney in our lives that now we have an app that can stream all different content that we love. So like, so if you're a Marvel fan, you're gonna love this app probably because you get to all see all the Marvel films and they're gonna have some new Marvel shows in there. From what I remember, they they're gonna have a Loki show on Disney Plus and they're also going to have a Falcon Winter Soldier show on Disney Plus so that's pretty cool and if you're a Star Wars fan you're going to get uh, The Mandalorian which I found out right now that The Mandalorian is going to be releasing episodes on November 12th at launch on Disney Plus and I'm, while I'm really excited for that, I'm also heartbroken because I just found out that Disney Plus is going to stream episodes of The Mandalorian weekly, which means as much as I would love to just binge watch all episodes in one, in one day, it looks like my dreams are coming are crushing down because it looks like now it's going to be, okay, we're not going to release them all at once. We're going to release them weekly. So I'm pretty sure that's the same thing's going to happen with 
uh, the final season of Star Wars The Clone Wars, which will also be on Disney+. Plus. But on the bright side of that, you do get every single Disney movie ever. You get all the classics, you get all the new stuff. I mean, it's just crazy how, like, we're now at a time where we now have an app where we can just watch any Disney movie ever. I mean, like, for what, like, and, like, for however much money it's going to be. And I think right now, I'm not sure. Maybe it did say in the trailer. I'm not sure. Maybe I didn't notice it. But maybe I think it was, like, I think it's, like, what, six ninety nine like, per month. And you know Disney's going to just, like, release. They're going to update that price <laughs> every year probably. So by the time I get this, it's going to be, like, I don't know, like eight dollars for a month now. They're just gonna bump it up, and they're just gonna. This is gonna take all our money, and I, I'm really am living that uh, that Futurama meme. Shut up and take my money. That's really what's gonna happen with like, for me as a Star Wars fan because like I, I really want to see the Mandalorian and I really want to see the Clone Wars, but my wallet won't take it. My wallet's gonna be bleeding by the time I finish watching all the series. But anyway, that was my overall reaction. That's going to be it for this video, guys. If you like what you saw, click the subscribe button so you can get all these updates from this channel. I'll see you next time with a brand new video. Bye-bye.